So we all know that iPhones are packed with features and with every new update we get more awesome features and there are a lot of features that we don't know about and there are a lot of features that we probably have heard about at some point but forgot about them and actually never use them on our devices even though they are very very useful like this one right here for the mail app so you can see when i go to the mail app i will have two mailboxes there so i will have my icloud and my work email right here now this where it says work it won't actually be like that once you add your email it will have the name of the email that you have added so in this case it would be outlook right here but you can actually change that and it's pretty simple you head on to the settings of your device and just find mail what you need to do here is go to your accounts and you will see your accounts right here now i can tap that and you can see it says account and there's the email what i can do from here is simply tap on account there and where it says description you can just simply add a new name right there and that will be displayed on the mail app here at the mailboxes. Now another thing you can customize is the way the contacts display on your device. You actually have a ton of customization options here which you probably never looked at. So go to settings and go under contacts and right here you will have sort order, display order, short name and you will have your info there as well but if we go to sort order we can choose to sort them by first name or last name and if we go back and go to display order you will have the same thing here you can choose how you want to display the name of the contact first and last last and first whichever one you want and then you will have also short name right here so you can choose how you want to display the name of the contact maybe first name only or last name only you can prefer nicknames if they are available and they will have here first name and last initial first initial and last name however you want to do that you can actually go ahead and customize your contacts of course as long as you have short names enabled right here now this right here is a pretty cool feature of ios of actually devices that don't have a home button so you know that when you're on your home screen you can quickly go to the last app that you have been using simply by swiping from the right from the left to the right like this which is really really awesome but did you know that you can actually use this feature pretty much everywhere on ios so it doesn't matter whether i'm here maybe on the spotlight search or anywhere i can be on the app library here simply swipe like that and it will still take me to the last app that i have been using Safari also has some pretty cool hidden features that we don't know about or simply have forgot that we can use them on our devices and one of them is called iCloud tabs. Now if you have like a Mac and an iPhone you can know you know probably when you use your, your iPhone and you have Safari open there it will actually display on your Mac so you can continue working there. Well iCloud tabs will do the same but you don't need to be close to the other device so let's say i have two different iphones both of them connected to the same icloud account if i have a tab open here it will be displayed on safari on that other device so i can continue there anytime i want so that will be displayed actually here if you go to the start page of your safari tap the edit button make sure you have enabled icloud tabs right here so these are all the things that will be displayed on your start page make sure you enable here icloud tabs and of course have safari enabled under your icloud settings on the settings app you need to do the same on both devices and then once you have icloud tabs opened on another device they will be displayed right here so you can continue from here Another really cool feature of Safari is recent tabs. Now with recent tabs, you will be able to quickly go to a lot of your recent tabs that you have been opening on your device. Simply head on to the tabs here and tap and hold here the plus button. So once you tap and hold here the plus button, not just tap, if you just tap, it will just open another tab. You tap and hold and it will show you all the recently closed tabs you had on Safari. So basically you will have here all the tabs you want. You can open one of them and it will directly open on your device, which is really, really useful. Now here we have another one for Safari. So on the start page of your Safari, you will have of course your favorites right here. Now when you add a favorite here, the name will be basically the name of the website. You can see here I have a link saved and it will just have a long name of the title of that article. Now what you can do is tap and hold here just like you would actually do with the home screen icons and then you tap the edit button and this will allow you to actually edit right here the title 
of that favorite item that you have on Safari. You can put there whatever thing you want and you will have now a new name, which of course will look much, much better on your start page. When using the Maps app on iOS, there is a pretty cool feature called Flyover. Now with Flyover, you will basically be able to walk on cities so what you do you simply search for a city and it will have this button right here now not every city will actually have this feature but a few of them do like new york for example so if i tap on fly over it will just show me like a bird's eye view of new york and i can just go ahead and walk around with my device or i can move the finger like this of course zoom in and out and just walk through the city or if you take your iphone in your hand and start walking you can actually walk above the city and even if you tilt your iphone like this you can see right there it will tilt with you and you can just start walking above the city and explore all the cities that actually offer this feature now here is one of my favorite iPhone features and tricks that you can actually do on your device. This is very, very helpful. So let's say you have your iPhone and you're playing some music or something, but you want to switch to your other device, basically airplay to your other device. In this case, I want to do that and just airplay to my Mac. What I have to do, go to the control center, tap there and find my device here and start playing there, of course, by selecting the device. You can do that much easier by going to shortcuts. All you have to do is just create a new shortcut and search for change playback destination, which is this one right here. You tap there and set the destination, tap here, it will show you the devices. And now all I have to do anytime I want to play to my Mac, I don't have to reach for the buttons or find the buttons, just run this shortcut right here. Or you can just ask Siri, to run that shortcut and immediately your device will start airplaying to your other device. Now here's a very useful one for devices that have the always on display feature. Now the always on display feature is pretty cool but sometimes when you're maybe out in public you don't want to have your device basically with the screen lighted up just like it does with the always on display and you know if you're in a very bright environment that will actually be quite bright and you can see everything on the screen. Well, going to your settings and finding the always on display settings all the time to do that will be quite annoying, but there's a really easy way to do that. Now, all you have to do, go to focus right here and tap the plus button to create a new focus. So let's go with custom. We can name this out. And then of course, just go ahead and pick here any icon you want, tap on the next button tap on customize focus and all you have to do here is actually go to filters and you will have here the always on display make sure to turn this off tap on add and you're good to go now you can see if i'm on the lock screen of my device i will have the always on display and someone can even see my wallpaper here my notifications and all that if i don't want that to happen all i have to do is just reach there and just simply go ahead and enable this right here and now we're good to go you can see now the always on display turns off and this is really really cool and much much easier than doing it through the settings of the always on display now here's a pretty useful feature that i suggest every iphone user turns on so you can see if i go to my camera the camera will actually have this grid which will help me make better pictures so once you're taking pictures you will get used to this and just point this middle square right there the subject of the photo and your photos will be way way better now the way to do that because this is not enabled actually by default simply head on to your settings and find the camera settings and you will have grid right here make sure you have this enabled and from now on your pictures will look much much better with the help of this grid now the dark mode on iOS is a pretty cool feature. There are some apps that actually look way, way better on the dark mode and you maybe want to use them on the dark mode all the time. Especially an app like Notes, for example, it has a huge like white page and whenever you look at it, it doesn't look actually that good. But maybe you don't want to have the dark mode enabled all the time. You want to have it enabled only on certain apps. So this is the way to do that. Head on to your shortcuts app, go to automations, create personal automation and then go here and find app so in this case we want to do this for the notes app so we can just go ahead and find notes right here there we have it tap on the dumb button tap on next and now tap on add action and search for set appearance so there we have set appearance we can go ahead and choose dark there tap the next button make sure you have this disabled 
and you're good to go. Now, every time you open the notes app, it will actually enable the dark mode. Now, if you'd want to disable the dark mode automatically when you exit the notes app, you can do the same, but you go ahead and choose this. So you go here, go to app, and then just choose when it's closed and disable this one. You choose the notes app again from here and basically go ahead and again search for set appearance and choose light mode and you're good to go. And last but not least, we have one for the markup feature. So whenever you're doing a markup, whether that's a picture or a screenshot or whatever you want to do, you will have here a few different colors. So if we tap on the colors here, then we have the ability to choose any color we want, but we will also have a few colors here that are saved. Now what you can do here is tap and hold any color and you can actually delete those or if you just pick any color, let's say from a photo, you want to save that, you can simply tap the plus button and it will add that color right here. So now that will actually be saved on there. And every time you go back to the markup tools, you will have your color saved right there. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed all these hidden features of the iPhone. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you on the next one.